Hey, what's up, guys? This is the Pace, and today we are going to install Liquid Remix Android Pie West ROM on MI Ever. So, before proceed, if you haven't subscribed us, subscribe us and also hit the bell icon to get notification about all of future videos. Now, if you're in there, let's get started. Now, first of all, let me show you the device I'm using is MI A1, which is running on AOSP Android Pie ROM. Now, first of all, you have to install the TWRP recovery on your device. If you don't know how to install it, then you can refer any of my previous MI A1 video from the link in the description. Now, I already have TWRP recovery installed on my device, so what you need to do, you just have to boot your device into TWRP recovery. So, once you are in TWRP recovery, just simply go to wipe, then go to advanced wipe and select all the options that I am selecting here. Internal storage is completely optional step here, so you can select internal storage if you want to flash installation of your ROM or you can also skip it. But I recommend you to select it because I always want a fresh installation of a ROM. So once you select all this option, just swipe this button left to right to wipe everything. So make sure that you already take a backup of all your important data. Now the next you have to connect your device by USB cable with your computer and leave your device in TWRP recovery and now go to your computer and download all this file from the link in the description and paste all this file on the internal storage of your device. So once you done that, again go back to your TWRP recovery. Now you can disconnect your cable from your computer. Now go to install and select liquid remix room file. Then swipe this button left to right to install it. It may take up to 5 to 10 minutes. So once it's done, now go to home menu of TWRP recovery. Then again go to install. Now select TWRP installer file and swap this button left to right to install TWRP recovery on your device. So once it's installed, now go back to home menu of TWRP recovery, then go to reboot, then simply click on recovery and it will boot your device back into TWRP recovery. So once your device again in TWRP recovery, Go to install, now select OpenGS file and install it. Now once OpenGS installation is done, now click on reboot system then click on do not install. Now if you also want to root your device then simply flash the magic after the GFs. Now first boot of your device may take up to 5 to 10 minutes so you have to wait until your device get boot properly. Now once your device is booted up, now simply set up your account or simply set up your device. Now I am going to skip that part. Now after setting up your device, the first thing that you get is you have to select your launcher. Now this room comes with a pixel launcher and the google now launcher. Now this is the UI that you can get with the pixel launcher. Now this is the UI that you can get with the google now launcher. Now let me show you from the settings menu that this ROM is running on the Android Pie. Now here you no need to enable the developer option manually because it is already enabled with this build. And apart from that, here the notification panel that you can have with this Android Pie ROM which is actually very same with almost every Android Pie ROM. And apart from that, if you go to settings here, you will have liquid launch option where you can customize your device totally. Now here you will have a customization related to buttons, navigation bar, settings, uh, system setting, display and many other features. I'm not gonna show you all because this video is already gonna be so long. So I'm gonna skip that settings part up to you. So literally in short, you can do lots of customization here. Now if you talk about digital well-being, this feature is also included with this ROM and if you talk about the battery backup of this ROM is also very good where you can use your device up to uh, 15 to 17 hours once it gets fully charged and even you can turn on your data full day or you, either you can use Wi-Fi or you can also play a PUBG and other games in your device and it will give you a huge battery backup up to 50 to 17 hours. Now this is the basic camera UI that you can have with this ROM but uh, this camera is actually not working at all. Uh, sometimes I see many bugs and sometimes it's not capture photo exactly what you want. So you have to install a Google camera 
manually and you can not go for this camera application because this is not working at all here you can see that this capture only black or the greenish photos so sometimes you may uh, see that but sometimes it also work fine now geo voltage and everything is working fine and for the camera you can also install the mi82 camera the file will be in the link in the description and apart from this everything is working fine so you can install the camera manually and everything is working fine so guys this is about this room and this is my basic review of this room i hope you liked this video don't forget to subscribe and also hit the bell icon to get notifications about all of future videos and if you haven't followed me on my social media all the links in the description where i post latest updated to the channel and more cool stuff so this is about this video i hope you like it i'll meet you soon in my next video